Welcome, Ruben here for VST Buzz, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the difference between common types of music software. The aim here is to give a general rundown of the variety of music making products out there and additional software that you'll need to run plugins, sample packs, sound sets and sample libraries. I'll also be looking at the difference between Native Instruments Contact Player and the full version of Contact. So let's break it down. First off, plugins. Think of a plugin as a small software program that runs inside of a digital audio workstation or DAW for short. This could be Logic, Cubase, Ableton Live, Studio One, Pro Tools or FL Studio. Plugins can be an audio effect such as compressor or EQ, a MIDI effect, sample player engine or synthesizer. The most common plugin format is VST, which stands for Virtual Studio Technology, but there are others including AAX, RTAS and AU. You may need to check if your operating system and door supports a specific type of plugin format. For example, Logic uses the AU format, Pro Tools uses AAX and RTAS, whereas VST is the most widely supported format used by other doors. For example, the Sonatina Symphonic Orchestra Sound Module and Spitfire Audio Labs products will load straight into your door as plugins. Next up, sample packs, which are collections of audio files which can be played back by any computer. Common formats are WAV and AIFF, but others are available. A single file is known as a sample, and a collection of many is a sample pack. Although you can use any music software to play these samples, most musicians will load them into a door and manipulate them. Take a look at the free packs on the VST Buzz site, such as Pure Snap Magic, or browse the huge number of samples at Music Radar. Sample libraries are subtly different to a sample pack in that you will usually need a software sample player to run a sample library, as the audio has been encoded to a developer-specific format. For example, the free Piano in 162 runs in Contact and SFZ formats, and Best Service have a selection for their Engine 2 player. This brings me on to sample players themselves. Sample player software will play back a collection of samples, and most operate both as plugins within a door and as standalone software. Sample library formats include SFZ, UVI Workstation and Best Service Engine 2, all of which need specific sample players to run them. However, the most common format is Native Instruments Contact, available as a paid full version or a free player version with more stripped down functionality. Let's look at the two different versions of Contact for a minute. First, Contact Player. When you see a product listed as compatible with Contact Player, you will not need to pay for the full version of Contact to run it. Instead, head to the Native Instruments website and download the free Contact Player, and that's all you need. There's a registration process required via Native Access, and the sample library will appear in the Libraries browser at the left-hand side of the interface. Developers who opt for this player format must pay a licensing fee to Native Instruments. As a result, contact player libraries are often offered by larger, more established developers, and they are a little higher priced than other libraries that require the full version of contact. However, contact player libraries will run in either version of contact in the same manner. Try some of the free player libraries such as Embertone's Arcane and Sennheiser Drummica to get an idea of the functionality. Many other sample libraries require the full paid version of contact to run them. These will often be labelled in the spec breakdown as contact full libraries. This version of contact is available to purchase from Native Instruments. And once loaded, these types of libraries will not show up in the libraries browser. Libraries for the full version of contact can be cheaper than those which only use the player and are usually developed by smaller companies. If you're serious about making music, I'd definitely recommend purchasing the full version of Contact at some point, as you can dive into Contact's extensive programming, scripting and editing functions, which are otherwise locked on the free player version. There are also thousands of free libraries available for the full version of Contact, created by both professional developers and Contact enthusiasts. Pocket Blaker's Cello, Short Noise and the free edition of Dronar are good examples to try out. Lastly, there are sound sets. This kind of product is designed to be an extension to an existing software synth, usually consisting of presets and sometimes additional audio content. You will need the relevant software to load these sounds. The most popular synths, Omnisphere 2 and Serum, have thousands of these sound sets available, including the free power pack on the VST Buzz site and a wide selection at theunfinished.co.uk. Compatibility specifications will tell you which software synth you'll need to load and run these specific products. 
Hopefully that gives you a good overall idea of the different types of products that you'll see on the VST Buzz site, along with how to load products from other developers. I'll link to the freebies that I've mentioned in the video description. And thanks so much for watching.